What's poppin' this Enzo McFly, Enzo Worldwide for life, Frank White, no record deal, I'm rockin' with Kiss 22 Radio forever, they always got my support, man, and Enzo said that. It's Catch 22 Radio on GMTRadio.com. Me and my no name. Where's the piece Triple X, bro? What? That's Kodak. That's Kodak. That's Kodak. Hey, Triple X on the song? For sure on the song. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's all I was saying. All right, well, you know. People want to sacrifice me? We are not Wait. doing this, man. <laughs> Wait, hey, man. Hey, man. Sacrifice that boy. He ought to be ashamed of his Hey, man. Sacrifice say it, man. Grown man. I don't know what you're talking the about. The same way Jay Z sacrificed a little grown woman. He ain't sacrificed other plane crates. <laughs> <laughs> Do you a I'm just saying, like, y'all need this uh, conspiracy. Not killing yeah, it's Poppin', man. Check out my shit, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, y'all heard it. Yeah. <laughs> we have uh, our little brother, family, yeah, in, the, in the building, Enzo McFly. What's happening, brother? What's poppin', man? It's Enzo McFly in the building, the youngest veteran, Frank White, no record here. Enzo Worldwide for life. You know what I'm saying? I was just saying, what's up, my partner, Stevenson Lance, man. He ain't. That's real. You don't get, you don't get. NBA players just yeah, dropping yeah, in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you play for the NBA? Trying to, uh, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to. Okay. Focus. Focus. Okay, NBA, Focus. 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 Okay, NBA players just popping in your lives. Hey, little bro, I want to let you know that, bro. You had one of the best interviews that we had up here last year. Right. I didn't really want to let you know that, bro. Again. Let's do it again. Let's repeat. Let's get it. Let's get it. So let's let's get into it. Off the real. Um, I don't see fifteen on one no more. Woo. Okay. Well. <laughs> like off the rip, off the rip. Straight like that. Is Straight you off like the contract? That. You can talk. That's what I'm saying. I can, I can talk. I say whatever okay. I want to say. I like okay. that. But I'm not a part of it. I'm not feeling it. I can say it. I ain't got nothing bad to say about it. It's just, it's just like, and, and rap and hip hop, man. Everybody not focused. When I came here, I that's the same day I put that chain on. Yeah, well. Yep. It's the, the same day I put that chain on. Yeah, okay, it's the same day I put that chain on. What I can't say now, I'm not supposed to see this. But what I can say is this though: I had my own stuff, right. dropped my own. You know what I'm saying? Had my own journey, had my own. Like I had my own, for real, young self-made boss. So it's like y'all. Didn't we yeah. talk about that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I don't need no nigga to just give me no. Yeah. I don't. I had that already. Right. So when you get past the phase of, okay, I, I don't come from that, I don't come from that. My mama was like, my daddy got money, I done been around race, I done traveled, I done lived in three cities, I done, I done seen, I don't come from that. So when you get past it, a nigga can't, you know what I'm saying, show me nothing and I'm not surprised and amazed by nothing, then it get to be about the business. Right, right. What can you offer to grow my career? Not the other stuff that I'm not worried about because I got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got it. So it's like, so was it a contractual thing there that you have to deal with them? Uh, yeah, it, it's it's something. It, yeah, it's that you can say that. You know what I'm saying? I bet that's business. That's kind of not for the air. Yeah. Well, I know y'all rule ain't a party. Y'all gonna collaborate together and get something popping. Me and y'all rule the family, man. This is okay. what you gotta understand. The real always gonna rise. rise. The yeah. cream the of the crop. Rise it's to the top. Flop. It's gonna not flop. Rise to the top. Rise, rise to the top. You know. What I'm so it's like you can't stop greatness, man. No, nobody stopping me. You see what I've been doing on my ground. I've been making them sick yeah, every day. That's real. Fendi, Burberry, Chanel, this, that. It don't even matter about the music. <laughs> I'm just showing them what I can do. Right, right. So since the last time you were here, what has changed for you? Uh, okay, so since the last time I did a song with Lil Baby, yeah, I put did. that out. And man, love to 15 on one, cause that's forever fam. I love T Ferris and salute to Carl. I'm a real nigga, you know what I'm saying? But I did a record with Baby, I put that out. Then I, I put the youngest veteran out. You did. I had a record with Young Blue. You did. You know, all that did great, it did what it did. So now I'm putting out my song, Burberry. You know, in the end zone worldwide, and Frank White no record deal, the home team. So Jay Prince said something valuable, by the way. What is that? So Jay Prince said, I say I know where you going with this. Come on with me. He said, I was working with Floyd Mayweather mm-hmm. four years. Yeah. Charlemagne said, what happened? What happened? Like, why Why y'all not working together no more? He said it did work. It did work. For what? For all years. All right, then. Well, what did So ain't nothing bad happened. Happen. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong. Like, why, why something bad got to happen for me to stop working with somebody? Why we got to just fall out? Why we got to fight? Why we got Why can't I just stop working with somebody? Because we worked for a certain amount of time and working. Now it's time to go to a bigger level in both of our lives. 
That, that makes sense. That makes a lot of make a lot of lot. And a lot of people out here that haven't seen that book, they need to read that Jay Prince book. I bought mine. It's awesome. Jay I bought mine. Jay Prince, the big homie. Right. So this is what I want to ask you because Jay Prince also said something else in that book. He was actually talking about as far as media in Houston, how a lot of people weren't from the city. I really want to know. I think that that's a bit was an awesome song. It was an awesome single. It was mm -hmm. all. So I want to know how do you feel about the radio play when it came to that song and what made you stop pushing it or well when it came to that song um i mean i tried my best i i went on that mic and did my thing the baby did his thing you know i knew little baby before we did that song right you know it, it, it got a lot to do with money man you know what i mean i think a lot of people gonna support burberry they supporting him because they seeing a 19 year old kid who flashy, who got a little bit of money. It's not because the song is good, man. even though the song is good. You know, so that's the thing is the music is great. The music be great, but it be a lot of politics here. And Houston is like that, man. Like I, Alonzo, my partner. Right. I could go to LA whenever I want. So in LA, it's kind of that's not really the case. Right. In New York, that's not really the case. But in Houston, we the South. And we still got that crab in the bucket. We want to tear each other down. And it's kind of getting past that. Salute Lil Jeremy. Salute Fast Lane. Salute Roller. Salute everybody in Houston doing that thing. You got to be somebody like me to be sure to say that. Yeah, and it's a lot of artists. I'm watching all these young artists from Ski Tasting. Yeah, Ski Tasting. Yeah, ski. That's fam. That's crazy. But he out there in, in Atlanta, you know, right now in Georgia doing his thing. And everybody seems like they running outside the city to try to get on. I'm just trying to figure out how we can get on here in the city. Well, you gotta look at it. You don't have to leave nowhere because we got the internet. That's true. So you don't you don't necessarily have to leave, but that's why I don't get too much caught up into going to the club, going to prom time, sitting up, going, you know, because at the end of that's about the music. Okay, let me do this music, let me do these visuals, let me put it out to the public. Okay, let me drop it up, let me let world start premiering my video. They got 11 million subscribers. We're gonna make a movie. Right, That's right. how we gonna get on. Look at YBN. Yeah. Hey, you don't gotta leave. Yeah, that's true. You ain't gotta leave. It's just we get too much caught up in to Houston. That's what Kiki told me. The Kiki told me this. He said, like, Izzo, man, you worry about who don't mess with you. Worry about who rock with you. Don't worry about who don't. Don't worry about them folks who don't like you. Don't like you. They, they think you just this and that. Worry about who. Who, who got love for you, man. And when you got that mentality, you can't lose. Right. Yeah, so you said, uh, Shout out Don Keep. Lonzo Ball is your partner, you know, um, and he raps. So are we gonna see like an Enzo and, and Lonzo song yeah, in the future? Yeah, you're gonna see that, you're gonna see that in the next two months. Oh, where y'all already mm -hmm. working on it? Yeah. It's done already or you gonna release it? Well, I'm gonna shoot out to LA in two weeks. Oh, that's bomb. Mm -hmm. It's done, it's a done deal. That's gonna be really big, you know? And me and young boy got some coming. Oh, yeah? Yo? Ain't never gonna stop hey, me, bro. Put your girl on. Can I get in one video? Yeah, you Just can. one. Yeah, you, know? you can, you can. Can I put a smile put on the camera? Back. I don't put think, you know, Chuck, we've been rocking for me. Nah, she could be in that joint. <laughs> I deserve it. Wait, you, what did you, why do you deserve to be in this video? I've been knowing him since day one, too. Yeah, I didn't say I've that. I've been rocking with him. Yeah. I said, I said, why do you deserve to be in this video? Because I put in work just like everybody else. Yeah, you know, really. that's what I'm talking about. Boss talk. Yeah, yeah. Boss talk, China. Boss talk, China. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, class and professionally. Use me because uh, I'm here to be used. All right, so you're here to be used. Because I'm on the interview. All right, hey, look. Here's At a... least I ain't getting freaky today. I'm trying to stay professional. <laughs> <laughs> you just be going out there, bro. <laughs> All right, Izzo, so what's, what's, when is I see the Frank White 2 project is dropping. When it, you have a date for it? You thinking about a date? No record deal. Two. No record deal. Frank no White. record deal. Yeah, two. Frank White, no record deal. That's, that's the movement, but no record deal. Too high and don't come out. That background is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So yeah, so no record deal too about to drop. And I'm shooting for um the end of August, beginning of September, and I'm gonna do a huge release party. You know, I, I threw a release party for the first no record deal. Let's be clear, I had 500 people that I think these folks don't give me my credit. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had 500 people pack the whole thing out. This time we're gonna shoot for a thousand, man. Yeah. When you go, oh, so you said, oh, because I want the invite. I gotta make sure. Oh, I'm wait, y'all getting a personal. This time, I'm gonna do it the right way. The first time I was doing it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Let's, I'm, let's be, I'm only 19. Right. You was just graduating when I you was just graduating when I dropped the first one. I was just, oh, I, was, yeah, that's right. I was just in the classroom telling my teacher, can I use the restroom? <laughs> <laughs> So now I'm finna drop the second one, and this time I'm a little bit older, a little bit more mature, and I went through right. situations to know what's wrong for writing this music. Man. That's real. That's real. That's real. real. All right. So as a Burberry single, bro, we finna go ahead and introduce that today. Can we hear? Yeah, man. We finna introduce this single and then talk a little bit more. Big Enzo, Pitch Twenty Two Radio. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Good shout out. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, bro. So go ahead and introduce uh, your single. Hey man, I'm debuting my new single, Burberry, by yours truly, Enzo McFly. I need you to check it out, dive into it, and we finna get lit. It's dropping Monday everywhere. Hey, hey, What's poppin'? It's Enzo McFly, Enzo Worldwide, Frank White, no record deal for life. Y'all already know I'm rockin' Kiss 22 Radio, Houston, Texas for the life. Hey. Another one. He that's, do this every time he come up here with us. That, that's every that's time. another one, bro. We that's got another one. Love. And you know, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, you know, because everybody said that my uh, judgment was pretty. Bro, wrong. I was just waiting, just just for a second. Like you got Drew to say, you really got old man Drew. That's what I'm start calling him, bro. Uh, uh, man, Drew. Mr. Mr. <laughs> hate himself, dog. <laughs> International player, hate us three times in a row. Going on four. But but I was jamming <laughs> the youngest veteran, like. I jammed the youngest veteran. It was in my daily rotation. It you was. know what I'm saying? Like, I can honestly say that's the truth. Like, he came like, up here every Sunday and was like, hey, bro, that Enzo project is really live. When I tell you, because I ain't lie to y'all, I was telling y'all, man, I'm finna do the song with Lil Baby, it's finna be a movie. So that's what I'm saying now. When I dropped No Record Deal 2, No Record Deal 1, I was really just trying to prove that I could do it to myself. Right. The youngest veteran, I was under a situation that I wasn't happy in. Right. You know what I'm mm. saying? But now, <laughs> hey, that lab let me know something serious for the come. Dog. So what are you gonna do different to dog. get the music out there? Dog, dog, dog. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, this is my second time I'm coming, the third time I'm trying, the third time I come up here, I'm coming up here medallion like pot. <laughs> look, 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 look. What I learned though is so much, man. I learned so much, bro. I promise, bro. I learned so much, bro. Like I, I got a whole new way of releasing. It. Like Burberry, it's probably gonna be my first main view. Have I ever told y'all a lot? No. no. I, don't, I don't cap. I don't cap or exaggerate. So it's like it's getting a real world star hip hop from there. Okay. Okay. Like straight to that YouTube page. You know, um, the fader doing a write up one. Like it's, it's just, it's gonna feel different now. So when are you releasing the video? Monday. Oh, this Monday. Oh, it's on work. It's gonna work on Monday. Man, it's gonna be. Oh, I can't I just drive it. You gonna be like, this shit. <laughs> you talking about tomorrow, Monday? Cause that ain't Sunday. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. All right, so, so we need it, so we can drop it at 12. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> at 12 y'all gonna yeah. get to see. Y'all gonna get to see the video. Yeah, you know, that's when we get, you know, yeah, because I just I see the I see if you go on his on his uh, Instagram, you get a little peek of the video. And we shot it at Bank Bob Nick. That's the same man who did Drake jury. Yeah. The same okay. man who did Future Free Man jury. Yeah, yeah he yeah. out in the video. And you know, at his own shop. Nice man, Nick Bank Bob Nick. Bank Bob. Nick. <laughs> so, yeah. So when you get that Burberry plug, when you start doing your modeling thing, man. Um, actually, I sent it to um. You know, for the video, I wore three of the um, shirts from the new season. Okay. So, um, and then for the cover, I'm wearing another shirt, and that's Paul Burberry's shirt. That each 600 piece. Yeah. Ooh, wait. Yeah. That's yeah. 2400. Yeah. I see over there counting. 2400. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think that you know they're gonna send, they're gonna send a song in the video to all of the employees in the group chat around the world that work for Burberry. Mm -hmm. And then I send it to their marketing department, you know, the clean birds. And I think they're gonna like it. The yeah, for sure. They said they're gonna like it. And they're a London British brand for support, you know, and I'm, I'm obviously, I ain't got the whole 6 9 thing going on. Tattoo. Well, I gotta say, before you leave here, I need you to sign this so I get the first autograph. Yeah, you got it. You know, I gotta have the signature. You got it. <laughs> All right, man, so you oh, work wow. with a lot of, a lot of people. You know what I mean? You, you've been hustling. Is there somebody that you want to work with that you haven't worked with? I want to work with Pharrell. A lot of people don't know, like, 
I just like making music. I really like making music. I think the only people that really, really, truly know that is uh, like my mom, you know, right. like my girl. Like they know, like I really love making music. So I want to work with like for real. Kanye, like real music guys, like that's why I want to work. You might want to link out to Scott Storch. It looks like he coming back in at the oh, piano. Oh, yeah, he coming back. back. For real. He never like left, though. Yeah. He, well, never, he said that he had a little situation with, you know, some drug issues. But, but shit, but yeah. every, good music artist, wise, every good artist do. Yeah, yeah. Elvis. Yeah. You bet not. Hello, I, I ain't on no drug. But <laughs> you bet not. And like, I ain't see. Every good artist. My OG say this. Because I'm raised, I'm raised upon, like, I always get, I'm ahead of my time. I really should have been in like the 80s era when like dope boys were really, cause now they make music for the drug abusers, like yeah. Papa Ma, yeah, they make junkie music now. It used to be like, oh yeah, we sell the dope. Like, you know, now it's like we use the dope. We do the dope, bro. Yeah. So that's real. Yeah. Well, I'm excited about this. It's drop tomorrow, bro. I bro, really, really want to see I it. Can't wait to the video, the video is so dope, and I want to thank y'all for supporting me. Yeah, bro. And, and shouting, bro. You don't know how much it keep a person going. Bro. Right. Everybody want to act like they made it. I ain't made it yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? I haven't, bro. I haven't made it yet. So everybody want to act like they made it, like they got all this stuff going on when nobody got nothing going. Okay. The only real. person got something going on. And the Kiki, do you love me, guy? And yeah. the <laughs> popping. Yeah. And you got like four more dudes popping. Everybody else, bro, we grinding. So yeah. for y'all, y'all be shouting me out and showing me love. Bro, you don't know how much that makes me smile. Bro, we appreciate the fact that when we say something to you, you always reply back. Man. With everything that you got going on, the grind and hustle and everything bro. that you have, you got happening. Y'all keep, I'll say this for the rest of the time I'm breathing. Y'all keep it going. So that's why it's nothing for me. Y'all gonna grow so much. It just take one bro, person. Just, yeah, bro. Bro, it take one person to just be like, boom. And then Kids 22 Radio, they not gonna forget. Boom, that's me. Real talk. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. That's real, man. I'm excited, bro. Right. I'm excited. Um, you know, I have certain individuals that I rock with real tough, especially who I would say is not mainstream. And you are definitely one, bro. Like, I, and I don't listen to a lot of new music. You know what I mean? So. I think I think you have I think it's just the way that you carry yourself. It's different. Like for me, I think it's different than the music. It's the way that you carry yourself as a young man at nineteen. Yeah. Like you articulate yourself well, you you know how how to talk and, and your mannerisms show that hey like I'm ready I'm really trying to get to the money. I, all the extra stuff is gonna come. But yeah. what I'm trying to get to, I like I have a goal in mind. I'm not just out here just freestyling. That's real. Yeah, yeah. It got and that's why because I had like a few opportunities. When everybody saw me stop hashtagging 1501, and it's so many people that just reached out and I'm like, bro, give me the one dude called my phone, I'm not gonna say his name. He was like, bro, just do an exclusive interview on how you don't want it. I'm like, bro, I'm not about to do that to no Right. Yeah. And like, and you know, it has like gonna help me, but I, when she hit me up, I was like, I gotta. But the craziest part about it is, though, I didn't know that you had left until they had that question game on Instagram. And somebody asked you the question, and you was like, you know what I'm saying? Why LeBron left? Hey, bro, I hit the group with all of us. Like, hey, bro, y'all know? Bro, you don't know how many people just laughed at that. But I ain't got no balance in my heart. Yeah, that's real. I don't have no balance in my heart. So I'm going to see everybody. I'm going to see everybody. I'm going to see Megan over there going hard. Little Megan is dying. Oh, she's still over there? She's still yeah, over there. Yeah, Go get her that. project right now. Go get Bravo Charisma yeah, right yeah. now. I we rocking with them for like, but you know what I'm saying? You might it just, it just, It's just a different, yeah, it's bro. just a different lane you're trying to learn. I'm a different, I'm yeah. a different type of dude though. Right. There's a lot of dudes that got malice in their heart. You ask the other side about Izzo, they, they young nigga, fuck that nigga. <laughs> 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 Toe. Yeah, but it ain't gonna stop nothing that you got going uh, on. Yeah, it ain't never gonna stop. Yeah, that's real, man. All right, well, Enzo, let the people know where they can find you on social media, bro. Hey, man, follow Enzo at Enzo McFly, E-N-Z-O-M-C-F-L-Y on all platforms. You can book me on EnzoWorldwide.com. Go to EnzoWorldwide.com to get your merch. We dropping the Frank White on record deal merch soon. Burberry is dropping tomorrow, and I love everybody that love me. That's real, man. All right, y'all, we're going to go into a mix with uh, Senior Clueless. And when we come back... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, bro, you didn't change your name to Senior Clueless, bro. <laughs> it's more Catch-22 Radio. All right, we got It's Catch-22 Radio every Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. on GMTRadio.com.